We have to get mindful. We have to learn that we are responsible for this world around us. Humans created the robots, the computers, the phones, the algorithms, the porn culture, the labels, the stigmas, the untruths. Humans have an ability to change this too. But we are all getting lost in the powerless ability to think that we don't. We are all thinking we are just one person. But wasn't Gandhi one person? Wasn't Mother Teresa one person? They may not have done it perfectly, but they made huge changes to the world by their undying faith to work on the things they could with whom they were. I may not be able to save people from cancer or my mother from MS. I may not be able to do everything, but by bringing awareness to the things that I want to change with love, I can bring light to darkness. And maybe one person is helped, or maybe somebody sees it that is able to give more help than I. I can bring light to the shame and judgment of women in yoga and fitness being taken into a porn culture when we are simply yoga and fitness. It's not about our clothes because whether we have leggings on or not, we are told that it is porn. Even a huffing and puffing of a movement is so. We are told if we have cancer that the acid in our bodies is the cause, but sometimes things just happen. We are told that if we have negative thoughts, that we ourselves must be the change, and that is true. But sometimes reading someone else's challenges and vulnerability helps us to see the change that we can make. You see, we rise by lifting others up and bringing light into the darkness and doing all that we can do, one person at a time, which is us. We cannot do everything. I cannot save the coral reefs if I don't have the money to travel there, but I can bring awareness to it. And someone that may save the coral reefs may not be able to save some victims that have been beaten and hurt or a cancer sufferer because they don't have the antidote for the survival. But they can still bring awareness to it and talk about what is happening in their world. You see, what we put our attention on and how we place our attention on it is the change we wish to see. If we shame and judge each other for the things we are and the things we do and always find the fault in it, we will never amount to anything but the problems that we have because if we focus on them, that's all we are going to have. The solutions do not lie in focusing on the problems. They lie in the new possibilities that we all see and talk about or rising by lifting each other up and helping each other. If we want to change the online world, we want the algorithms to be better so we celebrate each other, we have to stop blaming the algorithm for not seeing the posts that we want to see, but instead search for them until the algorithm changes for us. If we don't like that some things are being said, we need to unfollow that instead of creating fear and hate. If we don't like that yoga is porn or fitness is porn, we need to understand that the labels we use and the judgment we use and the comments we use also support or do not support our beliefs. So are we gossiping about others and what they wear and what they do? Or are we supporting them in manners that don't discuss these matters and make it see it for what it is? If we see people that are sick and ill, are we saying, I can't do anything? Or are we sharing in our stories their GoFundMes, their charities, their person, their story? Are we following people like for like? Or are we following people that lift us up? If we don't like social medias as a number game, are we deleting posts because they don't get enough likes? Or are we feeling inadequate because we don't have enough likes? Or are we seeing that we are posting our truth and using it to connect with like-minded souls? And even if it's only one, that is far more valuable than playing the number game that we all don't want it to be. You see, everything about what we complain about there's an answer within us to do a better job ourselves. We are all the villain in this story. And we all do something that could be changed. 
May it be small or big, if every single person, over 7 billion of us, work together to create these small changes, to stop shaming and judging women for their clothing, to support those in need in help, whether they're cancer or illness or depression, to unfollow the ones that we want to complain about instead of complaining, to make this environment about being ourselves and supporting ourselves no matter what our truth is and no matter how many likes we have. The question is, are you living in fear and hatred or love and possibilities? Is your next comment kind or is it judgmental? Are the people you're following, are they rising your energy or are they decreasing it? Are you judging another except you say you don't want to be judged? Then you must stop judging so that you also don't partake in that cycle. We must be the change. We may be only one person, but all those people that change the world, that inspire us, were only one person too. They didn't do it perfectly, but they did it by being responsible with how they reacted in the world, the energy they put it out, and made sure it was to the possibilities, their faith, their beliefs, their hope, rather than hatred and fear, and I can't do this. I may not be perfect, I may wear things you don't like, but I know that everything that I do is about better tomorrows, about making sure people understand we are human, we all suffer, but we can all do something about my reason why to create better tomorrows. Because I don't want her suffering through this judgment, fear and hatred that I've experienced. And I don't want her lacking in support or feeling she is just a number. And I don't want you feeling the same. So be responsible. Remember, you can create a change. You may only be one. But if everyone is only one and we add that together, we change this world. We rise by lifting others.